Hello and welcome to your 80th SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca and today I want to talk to you about managing and maintaining indexes and statistics. And then I want to show you how to check index fragmentation and then how to reorganize an index using SQL Server Management Studio and additionally how to do the same thing with a T-SQL script. So to begin Performance is typically measured by how fast data is returned from your database to applications, reports, and end users. Now, while several other factors should be considered when evaluating performance, most users are concerned only with how fast the data is returned. Now, as I mentioned in a previous tutorial, it was about building and maintaining indexes. Creating indexes can help improve uh, database performance. As the database, excuse me, as the data in the database is manipulated, the indexes can become fragmented, which means that the pages may end up out of order or the pages may have varying amounts of free space. Whatever the case may be, performance can be hindered. To remove fragmentation, you can either rebuild or reorganize the index, which I'll be discussing later. Performance is also improved by statistics that can be automatically created, which is a best practice. Additionally, manually created statistics can help SQL Server, the SQL Server Query Plan Optimizer understand the value of the distribution of data in a table. Now, while a detailed discussion of statistics is beyond what I want to get into in this tutorial, it is important to note that the statistics must be updated regularly to protect against performance degradation. Um, in another tutorial, you'll be learning how statistics are created and updated, but that's not going to be here in this one. Okay, now um, regarding uh, checking index fragmentation, the process of rebuilding and reorganizing an index begins with determining the fragmentation level of the index. In earlier versions of SQL Server, performing this task required quite a bit of work. It was kind of a hassle. With recent releases such as this, SQL Server 2012, which all of these tutorials are based around, you can identify how much all the indexes in a database are fragmented simply by executing this query right here. All right. So this query uses a dynamic management object, also known as a DMO, to reveal vital information that assists in identifying the fragmented indexes. I'll be discussing DMOs in greater detail in a later tutorial. But the results of this query that we see here are it lists all the indexes that have fragmentation greater than or equal to 10%. Using the results of this query, we can quickly determine which indexes are fragmented for whatever reason. Tables can become fragmented by massive update or delete statements, frequent page splitting, or disk space contention. Tables can also become fragmented by insert statements if the clustered index key is not a sequential key. Fragmentation is not the only factor to determine whether or when to perform index maintenance, but it's a good place to start. Uh, the discussion on whether to rebuild or reorganize an index is something I'll be getting into later as well. Now you might be wondering why you filter on indexes that have more than 10% fragmentation. Why 10%? Well, in most cases, indexes with fragmentation less than 10% should not affect performance very badly. Um, and the time you're going to spend performing maintenance on such indexes with a relatively small amount of fragmentation will not be really worth it to you. So that said, Every environment is different, and you should carefully evaluate index fragmentation on an index-by-index -index basis. If queries in your database are performing poorly and the corresponding indexes are fragmented, addressing the fragmentation may improve query performance considerably. All right. Now, um, regarding defragmenting indexes, as I previously mentioned, fragmentation can be reduced by reorganizing or rebuilding an index. 
when to use which method depends primarily on three factors. Uh, number one, the fragmentation level. Number two, the size of the index. And number three, the requirements for accessibility to the index during maintenance. Now, regardless of the method you use, you should always perform analysis and index maintenance on a regular basis, say on a weekly, you know, every Monday morning or whenever you decide. All right. Now, uh, on reorganizing indexes, when indexes are minimally fragmented between the 10 and 30 percent range, they should be reorganized. Why those values, 10 to 30? Well, this range is typically rec recommended as a starting point, but as I previously mentioned, you should analyze each index to determine what works best for your environment. SQL Server allows you to reorganize indexes with SQL Server Management Studio, T-SQL, or a maintenance plan, which I will be discussing maintenance plans in a later tutorial as well. If you're scheduling your index maintenance, the preferred method is to use either T-SQL or a maintenance plan. However, in some cases, you will be required to reorganize an index during an unscheduled time. And in this case, the simplest and most direct method is to use SQL Server Management Studio. Reorganizing an index is not as resource intensive as rebuilding an index. Basically, this process compacts the index pages and reorders the leaf level to match the logical order of the leaf nodes in the index B tree. Reorganizing an index is always an online operation, meaning that corresponding index and associated tables are available during the entire operation. So, okay, so let's take a look at how to do this with Management Studio. And to do this with Management Studio, we first need to uh, um, execute a script. Actually, before we do that, I mentioned before I was talking about index, how to check fragmentation. All right. So let's take a look at how we do that. All right. Grab this script here. Let's go over here. New query. All right. Go ahead and type this in. You can pause it now and type this all in. And as always, in the first comment of all my YouTube videos, there's my email address listed. You can email me and I will send you a copy of this script and any other script used in any of my tutorials. So feel free to do that. But go ahead and you're going to want to execute this. And now we can see we have our database name, database object, the index name, and the average fragmentation in percentage. And we can see these definitely are all above 10%. Okay, so that just gives us an idea of what's fragmented at what level. Okay, so we don't need that anymore. All right, I want to show you that. Oops, some of it. Okay, now we are going back over here, and we're grabbing how to reorganize an index using SQL Server Management Studio. Now. We still need to run a T-SQL script really quickly here. Um, um, as I uh, previously mentioned, um, or I don't know if I did mention that actually, but um, <clears throat> okay, I just had to re-gather my thoughts. I kind of lost my place as to where I wanted to go. Okay, what I want to cover now is uh, as I was mentioning, uh, how to reorganize an index with Management Studio. But I remembered that, well, you need to execute this script to start with, but I've already done so ahead of time. So if I go ahead and execute this again, I'll get an error telling me that I've already created sales order header underscore order date. So I'm not going to do that. I don't need to. Let me pull this down. So see this a little better all right what you're going to want to do is go ahead and execute this query and what this query here does is it adds an index and then changes enough data to cause fragmentation in an index that contains the order date column and that's you know 
like I said, if I go ahead and execute it, it's going to tell me an error. You already have this created. But if you don't, but if you do it, it won't. So go ahead and execute that to start with. Then once we have this executed, we are going to expand databases. We're going to expand AdventureWorks 2012. We're going to expand tables. Then we are looking for sales .sales order header. We're going to expand that. Now we're looking for indexes. Uh-huh. Just as I said, it's already there for me. Uh, uh, IX underscore sales order header underscore order date. Uh, but that should have just been created for you when you executed the script right here. So now that we're here, we're going to right click that. And we're going to go to reorganize right there. And ah, as we can see, yep, sure did. We have our fragmentation level is 45.45454545, yada, yada, yada. So it's 45% fragmented, fragmented. So, okay, now we're going to just click OK here, and it's going to drastically reduce this fragmentation. It won't take it all the way to zero, but it's going to reduce it considerably. Let's see what happens. Okay, so, okay now we just simply go back and repeat the last two steps. Right click, we organize, and it's all the way down to 20%. So it over, it cut it in half, over half. It was 45%, now it's cut down to 20%. So pretty cool. So now you know how to reorganize an index using SQL Server Management Studio. And the whole purpose of that original script, as I uh, mentioned, it was uh, it was just to add the index, and then it changes enough data to cause the fragmentation in the index that contained the order date column. So, if you went ahead and if I go ahead and say I run that again, okay, just cancel. It's going to give me an error telling me that I've done this. Yep. But if I go back here again to reorganize, it's back to 45% again. See. Now you get kind of an understanding of why that script is necessary. Okay, so go ahead and now it should be back down to 20%. Let's just check. Just, just save it. Yep, sure enough, 20%. Pretty cool. Okay, so I can cancel out of there now. Now, we can do the same thing with uh, with a T-SQL script. Now I can just show you the script and it's as simple as just taking that and going back over to our query execution window and hitting execute and it will do the exact same thing there for you. So now you've uh, learned how to check index fragmentation. You have a script here that you can use to do that. You've learned, I've walked you through the process of how to reorganize an index with SQL Server Management Studio and right here Uh, you now see a script that will show you how to reorganize an index using T-SQL. So, you're now a rock star when it comes to reorganizing with SQL Server 2012. Uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, you can email me in the email address I have listed in the first comment of each tutorial or for a copy of any of these scripts. I look forward to seeing you in my next tutorial where I'm going to cover rebuilding indexes.